Thanks for attending. Let's begin with point number one. I didn't realize I was on mute, so I'll need to repeat my point. Ah, the question is for the office team. Don't know the proper meeting etiquette rules when hosting conference call meetings? By the end of this video, you'll know 10 conference call etiquette rules you should follow as a host for successful meetings. For the best professional and personal development solutions, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video. For over 30 years I have helped many people in their journey to success. And now, it's your turn. Business etiquette in general, creates a respectful, professional environment. This environment promotes good business relations, which translates to better professional relationships. At work, a significant portion of your time will be spent at meetings, either as an attendee or host. Putting your best self forward, and displaying the proper meeting etiquette will help you to get the best from others, and boost your profile in the company. Conference meetings are helpful when participants are at different locations. It saves attendees time and money, because it negates the need for people to travel to a single physical location for the meeting. However, Concerning meeting etiquette, it comes with unique challenges. Let's look at 10 conference call meeting etiquette rules you should use when hosting conference call meetings. Number 1. Remind participants to dial in 3 to 5 minutes early. This conference call meeting etiquette rule allows you to verify that the technology works for everyone and allows you to break the ice with those who are waiting for the others to join. A tip here is to resist the urge to discuss anything on the agenda. All participants should be present before any agenda item is discussed. Number 2. Keep conference call details available. In the event others misplace the information and you need to provide it again, you will have it on hand, for example, the PIN number. This shows that you are organized, efficient, and prepared for all eventualities, regardless of how minute it may be. Number 3. Remind participants to use the mute button when not contributing. This is an important conference call meeting etiquette practice, as it prevents the speaker being interrupted by unnecessary sound and feedback from the equipment of other participants. Also, it ensures any alternate conversations during the meeting do not disrupt the flow of the meeting. Number 4. Be mindful of all sounds. It can detract from the meeting, and depending on the level of noise, it may even prevent the meeting from taking place, for example, a busy room, static from the equipment, noisy jewelry, shuffling of paper, or a pet, when working from home. Number 5. Use a landline where possible. Landlines usually provide a better connection than cell phones, and there is less chance of the call dropping out or losing battery power. This reduces the chance of having to prematurely end or reschedule the meeting. Number 6. Verify the attendees on the call and make the required introductions. Similar to in-person meetings, don't assume everyone knows each other. This is an essential conference call meeting etiquette rule, especially when the meeting is the first in the project, or there are participants external to the company. The proper etiquette for introductions is, external attendee to the team, and highest seniority first, regardless of gender. Comment below, and tell me which of these conference call etiquette tips you are guilty of not using, and why. Could the tips we covered so far make a difference to your meetings? Give me a yes, in the comments below. Number 7. Cover audio specific protocol. To ensure a beneficial experience for all, the proper conference call meeting protocol must be communicated, for example, how someone could notify you should they have issues with their conference call details. Number 8. Address people by name when speaking specifically to them. One conference call meeting etiquette rule that is not consistently used is directing questions and comments to specific persons or locations. Conference call meetings lack a very important factor, there is no visual communication. Therefore, it will make others aware your communication is directed at them, and prevent confusion when responding. Number 9. Use efficient pauses to give others time to contribute. There may be a time delay in participants receiving your communication, or doubt about who should respond first. 
Also, you should periodically check that everyone is connected, can hear you, and remember to unmute your phone before you speak. Number 10. Be the last to sign off conference call facilities. This final conference call meeting etiquette rule is another rule that is not followed consistently. As the host, it is good practice to be the last to sign off, but a vital point to note. Do not continue to discuss the meeting with selected colleagues on the same conference call session, after the meeting has ended. You never know who could still be connected to the call. Conference calls have made it easier to connect, and do business at any time and anywhere. The benefit is great, but the basic rules of meeting etiquette should always be applied. Let's summarize the 10 conference call etiquette rules you should follow as the host. 1. Remind participants to dial in 3 to 5 minutes early. It allows you to verify that the technology works for everyone, and to break the ice with early attendees. 2. Keep conference call details available. This shows that you are organized, efficient and prepared. 3. Remind participants to use the mute button when not contributing. It ensures equipment feedback and alternate conversations do not disrupt the meeting. 4. Be mindful of all sounds. It prevents added distraction during the meeting. 5. Use a landline where possible. It provides a better connection. 6. Verify the attendees on the call and make the required introductions. It is especially important with attendees who are external to your company. 7. Cover audio-specific protocol. This ensures a beneficial experience for all meeting participants. 8. Address people by name when speaking specifically to them. It prevents confusion, especially when a response is required. 9. Use efficient pauses to give others time to contribute. It accounts for time delays in communication. And 10. Be the last to sign off conference call facilities. However, do not continue to discuss the meeting with selected colleagues on the same conference call session. Okay, let's see how Susie does when the correct tips are followed. Thanks for attending. Let me introduce our new starters. Before I state my point, can everyone hear me okay? This question is for the office team. Now you know the appropriate meeting etiquette rules when hosting conference calls. But what about the specific meeting etiquette rules to follow when attending video conference meetings? I have created a free professional assessment just for you, so you can measure your potential for success. You can access the free assessment at the link in the description section. I have also included other resources to help you get greater insight and tips on this topic. I am always adding new videos to give you the techniques and secrets used by the best in the field. Check them out here so you don't miss out. And remember, if you like this video, hit that like button, be sure to subscribe, and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching.